The Injustice video games have always been one of the more, I guess you could say, interesting aspects. A verse where Superman accidentally kills Lois Lane due to his influence, or due to the Joker's influence, excuse me, over him using a kryptonite-laced fear toxin, which made him see doomsday, and well, he winds it up accidentally killing his wife, his unborn child, and a detonator or a trigger for a detonator that was on her heart wind up destroying his town making him this dictator over the earth because again he was a broken man someone who had more humanity than even batman but today we're going to see what would happen in this video game if optimus prime entered the verse so without further ado please comment down below like and subscribe and share with your friends now, when it came down to the versions of Optimus Prime, I just kind of kept cycling through. I had to go through many of these guys here in terms of power level, in terms of characterization, and eventually I actually settled on, well, the one you guys kind of see in the uh, thumbnail, right? Or the promotional material, right? Um, <laughs> Transformers Devastation Optimus. Yeah, believe it or not, he's just another version of G1 Optimus. I guess you could say possibly a bit weaker maybe a bit stronger i don't know i guess you could definitely take that into interpretation but let's talk about his scaling right so i understand a lot of people put him around small town level because of the size of the explosion he took from the feral taxes and then it eventually got upgraded to um which i'm gonna call it uh island level <laughs> because of a reevaluation of the scaling here but um here's the thing there's a lot of context missing in that, and we're gonna ex I'm gonna explain it and show it to you guys here. So believe it or not, this feat is actually planetary. Yeah. So the Ferrotaxis actually utilizes the same energy or same energy in general as the plasma core. Now the plasma core is important because plasma energy in general is known to be able to destroy entire planets, and I mean blow them up. Considering the Ferrotaxis is basically a smaller version of the plasma core with a remote control function, Optimus shooting this at a point blank range and destroying it, and with him and Megatron being able to withstand that explosion. This would put Optimus Prime at least into the planetary ranges, considering again, Wheeljack confirmed that if this core exploded, it would have destroyed the entire planet. So, yeah, that, that's how strong um, Transformers Devastation actually is here. They are all considered planetary because again they all scale to megatron with obviously the characters having similar and probably exploitable features that make them differently so believe it or not when optimus prime arrives due to a time shift or a dimensional shifting here we'll say that he's caught in the explosion and he simply is sent to the injustice universe as batman's whole dimensional teleporting thing simply happens optimus prime does a little bit of recon for the area and comes across yellow lantern hawk girl trying to capture batman after his fight with the joker now batman seeing this would actually go out of his way to actually help um batman in this situation or the main earth batman now let's talk about hot girl and mm -hmm. yellow lantern here believe it or not hot girl is really not much of a threat considering how easily she jobs in the video game even to the point where she was overmatched by someone like lex luthor I, I don't think I really need to say much about that. But anyway, uh, the Yellow Lantern pretty much operates like Green Lantern, except you could probably say he might be a little bit more ruthless. He's a lot stronger. However, um, anybody with any physical strength advantage over him straight up just rocks him every single time here. He's not a physical fighter. He actually sucks at it, mind you. And he uses constructs to get his way. We even see characters that are stronger than him, like Ares, Wonder Woman, and Superman, kind of just fling him like a ragdoll here. So, in all honesty, Devastation Oxygen should not have any problems. 
And considering how fast he's able to move to the point where they actually slow down time itself here, I think it is very much appropriate to actually not only keep that mechanic here, but to point out the sheer fact that Optimus, with also his Energon Axe, his regular Ion Blaster and stuff like that, and the sheer fact that, again, he is fighting against much stronger, much more skilled, and much more experienced opponents, because, again, remember, this is just another rendition of G1 Optimus, who's been around for years before humanity even developed here so this means that not only does he beat yellow lantern and hawk girl but batman the main earth batman does not get captured in this timeline meaning that well not only would batman you know consider optimus an ally in the situation obviously he's not trusting him fully because again that's just batman's character but again i do think he would see optimus as a trustworthy ally so this means they do go to out of their way to help the group fight off against sinestro and because yellow lancer was beaten up earlier this pretty much helps out in the entire situation so this means that optimus is just jumping in with wonder woman um green lantern and green arrow here and just straight up pulverizing a you know sinestro here matter of fact green lantern by himself was actually able to handle it so you would at that point just have optimus jumping in maybe coming from behind and just slicing uh well i'll probably maybe he wouldn't slice sinestro's arm off i mean it, it, but then again it, it, it's going to be it is what it is here but let's say optimus keeps in character and he doesn't kill him so this means optimus would just probably just pull out his ion blaster and just shoot sinestro knocking him out so basically no batman being captured no oh sorry no mainline batman being captured yellow lanterns knocked out so that means it's just a one against four against sinestro so yeah, everything's pretty much solved at that point with Optimus being there. Now, when the main group actually does regroup here, they actually do question on who Optimus Prime is. And again, Optimus being formal, up forward, and honest would tell him who he is, what he is, and, uh, well, he just kind of got caught here. Now, again, I do think Batman would definitely do some research on him, and then, boom, yeah, oh yeah, he, he's, he's good, he's on the up. So, this would actually mean that they actually go to get the kryptonite weapon a lot sooner huh and with no batman being captured here this means you have two batman you got double the beat down here triple if you got optimus now when they get into the mansion obviously they got to go against solomon grundy and killer frost here optimus is obviously going to whoop out solomon grundy mm -hmm. and if you know if hal wants to he could take grundy into space and then he could easily, uh, you know, incapacitate Killer Frost, possibly help out Wonder Woman, and she probably will make that joke that, um, you know, she doesn't want anybody to, you know, don't tell anybody that she lost to Killer Frost back at home, which I do find funny. Now, this then leads to them confronting and fighting against Black Adam and Wonder Woman from the Injustice Verse. Now. This is actually pretty interesting because now we have a much more difficult fight. Keep in mind, my, my, the main Injustice characters do have some scaling relative to planetary. But again, this was performed by a Yellow Lantern amped Superman. Other than that, it is stated that he would have been able to survive the destruction of Apocalypse. Which, in this verse, is still a giant ball just a giant fire planet so and i think planetary is more consistent with superman than anybody else here now getting the kryptonite weapon early this means that the group actually does have some changes here and believe it or not i still think destro goes to the watchtower blows that up but it's optimus prime at the hall of justice instead of lex luthor i think he would have the kryptonite in his ion blaster just in case he couldn't talk no jutsu Superman in this situation here. Now, this means another thing. Shazam does not die. Lex Luthor does not die in this timeline. And what actually makes this a bit more interesting now 
is the sheer fact that Optimus Prime would probably give a speech on TV about how, you know, people can always do the right thing, even despite their hardships. You know, something that Optimus Prime would say, something that Optimus Prime would give to basically give this all arousing speech here about how it was wrong for Superman to take away humanity's freedom. And I do think that Superman will go to the Hall of Justice and just straight up confront him, meaning that we just get the final battle right then and there with Optimus Prime versus Superman. And believe it or not, Optimus probably would try to talk down Superman in this situation, telling him that he understands his hardships. He's lost loved ones along the way as well to get where he is today. But he didn't become a dictator and try to take away everyone's freedom. <clears throat> Shattered glass. But uh, you have the sheer fact that when this final battle actually does happen, because again, Superman's going to stand ten toes down about his beliefs and then just try to fight Superman. Oh, sorry, fight Optimus. Meanwhile, the insurgency is going to have their battle against the regime with Flash and Shazam switching sides. So this means they got Flash and Shazam against the rest of the regime. They got that in the bag. Now, as for Superman versus Optimus Prime, yeah, Optimus is just going to straight up put hands on Superman. Now, again, I do think this is probably one of the most even fights we can get between a version of Superman or a weaker version of Superman and a weaker version of Optimus Prime. But the problem is here, Optimus is the more skilled fighter. And we've seen that in Injustice, Superman does not do good against fighters that have enough strength to harm him and being capable of outsealing him. He lost to a kryptonite and or sorry, a Kryptonian pill amped Batman. And then Wonder Woman with just straight hands. And this was pretty consistent throughout the series. He had no hands. Bro could not run a fade unless it was a straight up brute on brute action. So you going to put him against a veteran above veterans like Optimus Prime. With his Energon Axe, probably some dual wielding swords or whatever they want to give him in Transformers Devastation. And at the sheer fact, Optimus is going to be trying to take him down. He might not kill him, but he's definitely going to take him out here. I also think it would be kind of funny if he did implement the Kryptonite into his Energon Axe. So that when he about to slice up Superman, it is what it is at that point. But again, keeping Optimus in character here and not using some of his more ruthless incarnations skybound we're looking at you right now we have the sheer fact that octopus would not only outskill superman but beat him down likely worse and quicker than wonder woman so with that being said here that means the regime gets beaten the amazons and atlanteans don't try to in really invade and stuff here and in all honesty doomsday is still in the fortress of solitude just kept there he can't move unless he's, you know, free from that control here. Flash and Shazam, you know, obviously get arrested with the rest of the heroes and stuff or the rest of the regime members. But again, they will be let out a later date. Optimus stays for a little bit to help out with the cleanup here. But again, eventually returns to his dimension with the Autobots waiting for him here. To which he would probably say something as if, if they ever need help with another invasion again, just let him know and he or any of his Autobots will be available. So I am going to incorporate this into Injustice 2 now, and I am going to have to think about that, whether I'm going to use Optimus Prime again, or maybe use Sideswipe or Grimlock, whichever one I really choose. I might choose Grimlock because I think it would actually be funnier to use the G1 rendition of Grimlock during that series or during that era. But again, I will also be incorporating Flash and Shazam's survival into that as well here. And in all honesty... I think it would look a lot better for Shazam than it does with Flash in the original, considering he is still a kid. But, in all honesty, that's going to just wrap it up here today, you guys. Please comment down below, like, and subscribe, and share with your friends. This is Legendary Grimlock, and I believe the next one is Grimlock in Dungeons of Dragons. So, um, yeah, peace.